Hey guys, how's it going? Uh, we're going to continue with the Visual Basic uh, tutorials uh, with the shoot them up game. And uh, so from the end of last lesson, uh, you would have found that uh, you were able to move your ship to the left and to the right. And when you press the space bar, it shoots a bullet, shoots a missile. But the problem with that was uh, when you press the space bar again, the missile disappears halfway through and comes back down the bottom. Now that would be okay if that's what that if that was the achieve if that was the effect you want to achieve. But um, we want it so that we can shoot multiple uh, missiles at the same time, and this isn't going to work. So what we want to do is fix that problem. The first thing is I'm going to create another uh, procedure just for shooting the bullet so I'm gonna call it private sub shoot and in this routine in this procedure what we do is we're gonna cut and paste what we had when we press the space bar so I'm gonna cut all that and I'm going to paste it in this shoot procedure and then when I press the space bar all I run is the shoot procedure and just check that it still works yes it's still working alright so that's fine okay the next thing we want to do is um, We want it so that the missile is created, a new one is created every time we uh, we we press the space bar. So rather than having the variable at the top uh, scope, I'm going to cut it and I'm going to paste it inside the shoot. Uh, procedure so it creates the missile variable as a new picture box every time we press shoot every time we press space um, and uh, so there's a few things we gotta fix after we do that before the program will work and uh, what's going to happen next is uh, I'm going to now declare a missile um, array. So dimension missile array uh, as picture box. And what's going to happen is uh, instead of um, instead of having the uh, missiles as new objects as as a, as one object, I'm gonna put them in an array. Every time we create a new missile, it's gonna go into the array. Okay, so the next thing we want to do is uh, we want to. In the shoot procedure, uh, we're going to change it so that um, the the missile gets added to the array. All right. So what we're going to do is here we're going to uh, we're going to say actually another thing we need is we're going to need a variable called a bullet a missile number as uh, integer and uh, so it's gonna start with zero actually we're gonna make it start with negative one All right, because as you can recall the first 
the first index in your array starts with zero. So before the first one is ejected, we'll have negative one. So what happens when we press shoot is that we will increase the bullet number by one. So bullet. Uh, actually, we don't need to start shooting anymore, so delete that. Okay, so bullet uh, did I say bullet? Missile. Missile number uh, plus equal one. And uh, so what's going to happen is the missile was originally negative one, now it's going to be zero and we're going to increase our missile array the dimension of it um, by oops missile array. So what this statement does is it makes the missile array bigger. All right? Originally when we declared it missile array we didn't say how many uh, slots it's gonna have. We didn't give it an index. We didn't specify the maximum size. For example if we said 10 here then the maximum size of the array would be 10 but we're not gonna do that. We don't want to say how many missiles we want to shoot just yet and uh, so back here down the bottom what's happening is every time I shoot a new missile I increase the size of the array and then what happens is um, I add the uh, I add the missile that I've just created to my array um, at the missile number position uh, so now the missile is added to my array and uh, now when for the uh, timer right instead of the start shooting variable become start shooting uh, variable I'm gonna just delete that completely so start shooting we don't need that anymore delete that and delete the start shooting variable and we're just gonna say that we're just gonna use a for loop so we're gonna say for uh, i equals uh, 0 to bull, uh, missile number so actually here I'm going to just have uh, a variable called um, i as integer. Okay, so for i from 0 to missile number, I'm going to shoot the missile. So missile array uh, in the ith position, I'm going to minus the top position by 4. And once again, I've spelled missile wrong. Okay, so what happens now when I run the program? When I press space, it shoots a missile, a new missile every time, which is a pretty cool effect. All right, so that's what um, that's what we're gonna. We're going to stop at this stage now, so once you get that done, then come to the next video. Alright, thanks for watching, see you next time.